So this video I've debated on making, um, but I think it's uh, worthwhile. So in the Shaper 3D forum, um, I saw this message yesterday about a user who uninstalled the app and then they lost all their project files. Um, that's not the first time I've seen that message. It's I've, I've probably seen it maybe three or four times uh, while I've been using Shaper 3D and monitoring the forums. Uh, it's important to know Shaper doesn't store files in the cloud. Those are only stored local. So your backup has to be through an export and saving um, some other way. You could save them to your iCloud Drive, which is a great idea, and that way you can have them available, especially if you're using the Mac beta and the iPad beta, so that way you can pull those files in from either place. But if you have a lot of files, like a lot of drawings like I do, um, I don't know, I have 40, 50 drawings maybe um, available, and I've deleted a bunch through the time. Um, some are I would hate to lose and others are just things where I'm experimenting. So I'm going to show you in here how to do a bulk export of all your drawings from Shaper. Now it's important to know your mileage may vary here. This is there's no guarantee this will continue to work. Um, you know the the Shaper folks when I sh demonstrated this yesterday in the forum uh, were very nice to let me know that you know they can't guarantee this functionality going forward and I totally understand that but um, I would hope that um, imports of existing exported files would work, and this is essentially what an exported file would look like. Um, so this is the way it works. Oh, and it's important to note, this only works uh, on a Mac and an iPad. If you know how to do this on Windows, I'd love to hear about it in your comments or, or on the forum. Uh, it'd be great information for others who maybe you're using iPad and, and Windows together. So here's how it works. Connect your iPad to your Mac uh, through USB. And when it's connected, what you'll see is on the left-hand side in File Explorer, you'll see the, um, the iPad show up in uh, the drives over there, devices. So if you select that, now this works for lots of apps. This isn't special to Shaper 3D. Uh, I use this for lots of different apps and lots of apps. This is the way you integrate or you put files uh, in and out of, of that application. So usually there's a folder you could open, you drag files in or you pull files out and that's how you are able to do these kind of bulk imports and exports. So you select on the device And you'll see it there. Now on the top, you'll see a whole bunch of different tabs there. Click Files, and then scroll down to Shaper 3D and click the little arrow to expand the folder. Now, if you right click or whatever, it doesn't look like you can do anything, but if you drag that file over to your desktop, or here I made a folder and I'm sticking it into this folder, you'll see that workspace appears over there. And you could do it for other, other files too. I'm not gonna do these here, but you would just drag it just like I showed you there and it would drop it over there. So now extend this folder. Now each of these UUIDs or these funny looking file names are your drawings. Um, it's hard to tell what they are, but I'm gonna show you how to find out what each one is. So let's just pick one here. And you see there's a thumbnail there. If you push your spacebar on Mac, it, that's quick look. And you'll see that you can see what that file actually is. Now, if you take and you, that file called Workspace, if you take and you right click on it and you click Compress, it'll create a Workspace.zip. Once you have that Workspace.zip, rename the .zip to .shaper, S-H-A-P-R and save that. Now you're able to import this into Shaper. I'm gonna do it on the desktop version here. And you see that file opens up within Shaper. So that's an easy way to make backups. I would, you know, I've been doing this for a while, making backups of these with uh, just in case. Uh, I didn't actually know until yesterday that I could re-import these back into Shaper this way. I always figure I'd drop that workspace file back into the file system, which is a different technique, uh, which is a lot more complex and requires special, special tools. So I won't go into that here. I'm trying to keep this kind of a, something that anybody can do. 
So anyway, I hope that helps you. I would definitely, if you have prized drawings and a lot of them like I do, I would highly recommend maybe making backups um, just in case, you know, will this continue to work? Will those files always be available? I, I doubt it, um, but uh, right now it's a nice stopgap until the great team over at Shaper uh, gets cloud storage uh, implemented. And hey, if you like these kind of pro tip videos, uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, click the notification bell. I have some projects that I'm pretty excited to do. Um, I've kind of been focusing on 3D design, but I have a few much larger projects I want to demonstrate here. So I'm working on those. I hope they'll be out soon. Have a good day.